question like we need to find the value of the latter in each of the following and give reason for the steps involved. So first step is 3a plus 25 will give us b2, right? So here as you can see a plus 5 is given giving us 2, right? That is possible when a will be 7 and uh, if a is 7 that means it will be 37 plus 25 and that will give us 62 so that means b will be 6 in the second question we have 4a plus 98 that is given cb3 which means a plus 8 is 3 so that is possible when a is 5 and if a is 5 then 45 plus 98 will give us 143 so b will be 4 and c will be 1 the third one is 1a multiplied by a so that is giving us 9a so a multiplied by a is giving a so that is possible if we have a is 0 so but in this case like this whole thing will become 0 so that is not possible in case we have 1 so that 1 multiply 1 will give us 1 but again like 11 multiply 1 will give us 11 that is not possible and um, otherwise if we have 6 right so if we have 16 multiply by 6 that will give us 96 so this is possible so a will be 6 so next is like the fourth part which is a b plus th 37 give us 6 a that means b plus 7 is a and a plus 3 will give us 6 okay so since like we are, we are uh, adding a 3 into a and that is giving 6 so a can have value of either 2 or it can value of 3 right because 3 plus 3 is 6 but if this is 2 that means like 1 is carry so let's see like um, for both the cases if this is this is 2 right that means like b plus 7 is equal to 2 that means b is equal to 5 right and if this is 3 that means like uh, 7 so that is it will only possible if you have 6 plus 7 and that will give us 13 but here like we will have one carry that will make us 73 so a will have value of 2 so we will have and b will have value of 5 let's see the fifth question so we have a b multiplied by 3 that is given to us c a b so b multiplied by 3 is giving b so that is possible if b is 0 or then 0 multiplied by 3 is will give us 0 or b is 1 1 multiplied by 3 will give us 3 or we don't have any other case or we have uh, in fact 5 also 5 multiplied by 3 will give us 5 so either 0 or 1 or 5 okay so let's uh, let's see the second one like so we have a multiplied by 3 and that is giving us c a okay so that mean um, so it is basically like we're multiplying one digit number but it is giving two digit number so definitely this a will be more than three if it is four so that it cannot be it can be five so a can be five so that mean like five multiplied by three will give us 15 right and uh, so b can have then in that case like we can have either 0 or 1 value so here like we have a is 5 and b can have 2 either 0 or 1 and both are value give, will give us the same result for the question number 6 so we have a multi a b multiplied by 5 and that is giving us c a b so b multiplied by 5 is giving b and this is possible if we have b is either 0 or 1 not 1 but 0 and 5 all right so 
and uh, we also have a multiplied by 5 and that is giving us ca and that is possible if we have like a is 5 so this is basically 5 multiplied by 5 giving you just 25 okay so in this case like b will be 0 and a will be 5 and b is 0 let's see the seventh part seventh part is a b multiplied by 6 will give us b b b so here like uh, since b multiplied by 6 is b that means b can be either 0 but that is not possible because that means the, all the things are 0 uh, b can be b cannot be 1 also because 1 multiplied by 6 it cannot be this b can be 2 okay this number like since it's multiplying by 6 so it, it, this number need to be e even right so either 2 or 4 and we can check for 6 also let's see let's see for 2 right so we have a multiplied by 6 that is bb okay so if b is 2 that means like uh, 2 multiplied by 6 will give us 12 that is 1 carry so what do we have to multiply a with so that like we get 22 that is not possible so b is 2 not possible let's say b is 4 so if b is 4 then 4 multiplied by 6 will give us 24 2 carry and what do we have to multiply what do we have to like uh, put a value of a so that we get 44 that means that we can put 7 here so we can say b is 4 and a is 7 so that will satisfy uh, the 7th part for 8th part we have a1 and 1b that is b0 so here since like 1 is added to b that will give us 0 so b is 9 and here we will have 1 carry and uh, that means that a plus 2 is equal to 9 so a will be 7 71 plus 19 is giving us 90 for the ninth part we have 2ab and a b1 will give us b 118 if we are at so b plus 1 is giving 8 so that means like b is 7 so now like a plus 7 is giving us 1 that means a has to be 4 and 1 will be carry so we have 1 plus 2 plus 4 and that is giving us 7 so that satisfied so basically a is coming a 4 and b is 7 for 10th part we have 1 to a plus 6 a b and that is giving us a 0 9 so here a plus b is 9 and uh, 2 plus a is 0 and also 1 plus 6 and that will be equal to a now like uh, let's see this part only like since 2 plus a is equal to 0 since like we are adding something like the 2 and that is becoming 0 and there could be like one carry also so that means like there is definitely one carry that is going on here right that means that a will be 7 fine sorry a will be 8 so if a is 8 and uh, so we, if we replace this a by 8 so it will give 2 plus 8 is 0 so we, there, there cannot be one, one more carry and a is 8 so that means b is 1 so a is 8 and b is 1 